Hello and welcome to Happy Mat Pilates. In this session we are going to talk about using correct breathing techniques. So I recommend that you follow along as I demonstrate. Let's get down on our backs. One thing about Pilates is that with all the various movements you want to try to maximize your ability to breathe effectively and so that means using your tire capacity to breathe. Now a lot of people, and this may be you, you tend to belly breathe and that's where you take your breath in and out of your belly and you can try this yourself as you lift up your breath, belly when you take a breath in and then as you exhale your belly goes down. So basically your belly is going up and down. And so there's nothing, not necessarily anything wrong with this, but if you're doing any kind of movement where your abs are constricted, it can make it difficult to be able to uh, get enough air in and out of your lungs. So instead what you want to do is you want to try to maximize your whole capacity for breathing. So think about as you take a breath in, starting from the base of your spine or at your belly button, and draw that air in and as you bring the air up, expand your ribs so that you're opening up your diaphragm and getting that, as much air into your lungs as possible. And then as you exhale, contract your rib cage and draw the air down into your, into your belly. So try that a few times where you start the air, breathe that air in, expand your rib cage, and then exhale, contracting your rib cage as you bring the air down in. Now this is also called thoracic or lateral breathing in that you're expanding and contracting your rib cage. And so um, for a lot of exercises, especially, and let's come up where um, you are, have limited range of motion in your abs. So like for example, if we bring our knees in tight to our chest, you can even just visually see there's not a lot of um, easy way of trying to get that breath air in. And so that's where you can then focus on expanding your rib cage and crack contracting it. And so at least you're getting more likely getting the, the air in and out of your lungs. Now, um, this can be effective in Pilates, of course, and many other exercises as well. One thing is, though, that there's a lot of movement to Pilates. So if you are new to the practice, I recommend that you don't think too much about breathing. I know there's a lot to think about. What's most important is that you keep breathing and um, so you're, you're oxygenating that blood stream and um, uh, be able to have a more effective, uh, efficient workout. But if you can, try to maybe practice a few times before you start your practice. And then the more you do it uh, with regular practice, it'll just get easier and easier to the point where it becomes a habit and you don't even think about it. And you just know what you need to do um, that's best for your body.